Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we can go on a journey together to live our highest, truest, and most fulfilled version of ourselves. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit that notification bell so you will know every time I post a video. I truly, truly appreciate all your support. Hi everyone, it's Sunday. August 15 and we're right here at Rocky Neck State Park. My first time here with my mom and we are here joining our Connecticut family and life brothers and sisters for a get-together, our annual get-together here at the park. So I'll see you later and share with you our happenings for today. Looking forward to it. We arrive early at 8.30 in the morning. There are no cars yet, and later on there will be so many cars here. At times they will close the park because there are no parking spaces. Rocky Neck State Park, located in East Lyme, Connecticut. It's a beautiful park, my first time here. It has soft, sandy beach, large picnic areas, can do train watching. There's railroads near the park. They have excellent trails. They have salt marsh viewing platforms. You can do crabbing, fishing, and has a big camping ground. This park definitely provides something for families to enjoy. Our routine, every time we have a get together, we start with prayers and songs. After song and worship, it is time to eat. And there are a lot of food here. This is Brother Boyet's specialty, Filipino sopas. And then we have pinakbit, and then the pancit, Filipino noodles. You can't have a Filipino party without these noodles. And of course, rice. Rice, uh -huh. rice is life. We have turon, banana turon, one of my favorites, so good, so crispy. Barbecue, of course, and more barbecue here, chicken. Lots of fruits and desserts. Oh my, the bico, so good. I think I ate a lot of the bico. It was a wonderful day to bond with my Catholic for family and life brothers and sisters. Some of them I haven't, it was my first time to meet personally because I only meet them virtually in Zoom when we have our household meetings and other activities. But this time I got to meet them, including the kids. We just had a great time, just chatting, conversing, laughing, and all good vibes and positivity, and talking about life, talking about how to be better Catholics, better Christians, and our focus and to offer our lives in serving God and serving others, especially those in need. I joined CFL two and a half years ago, and it was the best thing, especially during this pandemic. It came at the right time. I really believe everything happens for a reason, because now I have a new group of friends, brothers and sisters who share the same fate, and now helping each other, supporting each other, respecting and loving each other, all for the good couple of highlights for me for the day. I was able to play badminton. The last time I played was like 35 years ago, so it was so good to play again. And then of course, the other one is this fun, fun game 
of picking up straw picking paper and it was so much fun and for the boys the winner was brother Dennis and for the girls guess who won my proud moment I won on this game I can't believe it but so much fun really amazing time <laughs> Original CFL, <laughs> Connecticut founders here. My ask you, what do you guys love about? Maybe just a couple of things about CFL. Basically, we, the main reason we are with community is because we are Catholics, okay. and it's Catholics for family and life. We are here to defend and propagate the Catholic faith. One thing I love about CFL, our brothers and sisters. And of course, CFL brought me closer to God. This is a way of serving the Lord yes. and also uh, training and bringing my family closer to God. The thing I love about CFL is that uh, brothers and sisters come together from all uh, age group, all uh, backgrounds. Um, we share the love of God, the love of Christ, the love of the Holy Spirit. Um, among each and every one of us, including our kids. It's like uh, what we are doing now, we're having a fellowship and family day. So it is through outpouring of the love of Christ uh, for us. We share this love to one another and together we grow as a community, um, learning from each other, learning from our experiences. And through these uh, activities, uh, also to this fellowship, grow and nourish uh, each other. Your mom and dad are part of the CFL. Yeah. So what to learn of it, from it? You just pray a lot. And just pray yeah, a lot. How about you? Uh, and me. Catholics for life. You what? Yeah, I know it means Catholics for life. Oh, that's good. How about you? You know. What do you think about CFL? Um, you like God. Oh, I love that. So God, pray a lot, and yeah. then family and life. Go, go high five. Go high five, guys! High five here! There! Oh, that hurts! There! Oh, that hurts! Oh. <laughs> You're free to join CFL. It's a very nice uh, Catholic community where we grow as one in our journey, in our faith. As for me, I joined CFL because I believe in augmenting my faith, my spirituality, my spiritual journey. CFL provides extra strong social support from like-minded people, providing opportunities for socializing, community service, and making friends with people from a common network. It's all win-win. It was a great time spending time with my CFL family. Hoping to see everyone on more next year. And thank you all for watching. Be kind, be loving, and be inspired. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.